In this tutorial, we are going to create a subform from one of the forms that we have created. So we have our students form and our students to form. Firstly, right click in the tab area of your form and ensure that you are in the design view. Next, click the design tab and ensure that you are in this control area so that you can add your subform. Before adding your subform, click the more button at the bottom of this window and ensure that use control wizards is selected. We select the option subform slash subreport. When that option is selected, you are going to see that it is grayed behind the area, so it's highlighted. You click, you move your cursor to your form and click in an area where you would want your form to be created or placed. The subform wizard window opens. You are being asked whether you want to use existing tables and queries or use an existing form. We are going to use the existing tables and queries. Click next. And in this case, it's our students table. And we would like to get the first name. So click on the available field and click the arrow, the first icon to move it across to the selected fields box. We would like the last name. And we would like to include the area of residence in our subform. If for some reason we do not want any of the fields selected, we simply highlight it and click the back arrow. Click next and you are given an option to specify fields which you would like to link your main form to this subform if you would like to choose a list or define your own list. We will select choose from a list and the list would include students for each record in students using first name, last name and area of residence. Click next. In the last window in the subform wizard, you are given an opportunity to name your form. In this case, we are going to accept the name given or suggested students subform and click finish. Now, in our subform, we can verify that the fields that we have included are there by looking in the right pane. And here we can see fields available for this view. First name, last name, and area of residence, which were the fields that we had selected for our subform. Remember, we are in the design view. So to view our form using the form view, layout view or data sheet view, we right click on the tab area of our form and select one of the views. And here you can see the student subform and the first or main form from which we created the subform. And you can click at the bottom record area to view all the records of the students in your subform and it gives you at a glance the first name, last name and area of residence in the subform. Whereas the main form gives you the student ID, first name, last name and area of residence. So the subform is a way to customize the data that you would like to preview or that you would like to view when given a form that has many fields and you want to separate some data or create a subform with this data. You will also notice that in the all access objects, a subform object has now been created for the students table. We have created a students subform coming out of that table in our database.